This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the octet rule. We'll start by looking at the electron configurations of three noble gases, helium, neon and argon. Each noble gas has a full outer energy level of electrons. Helium has two electrons in its outer energy level, which is n equals 1. Neon has eight electrons in its outer energy level, which is n equals 2 and argon also has 8 electrons in its outer energy level, which is n equals 3. The noble gases are stable because they have full outer energy levels, which means they have the maximum number of electrons in their outer energy level. The octet rule states that atoms lose or gain electrons to achieve the electron configurations of noble gases. As we saw earlier, the noble gases are stable because they have full outer energy levels. Atoms can achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas by either sharing electrons, as in covalent bonding, or by losing or gaining electrons, as in ionic bonding. Here we can see the Lewis structure for methane, which is CH4. The carbon atom is bonded to each hydrogen atom by a single covalent bond. Covalent bonding involves atoms sharing electrons to achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas. In methane, the carbon atom shares electrons with each hydrogen atom and by doing so, it can achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas. In addition, each hydrogen atom can also achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas by sharing electrons with the carbon atom. In ionic bonding, atoms can lose or gain electrons once again to achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas. Here we have two ions. On the left, we have a sodium ion on the right we have a chloride ion. When a sodium atom loses one electron, it becomes a one positive ion. When a chlorine atom gains an electron, it becomes a one negative ion. By losing or gaining electrons, both ions have achieved the electron configuration of a noble gas. And finally, we look at some exceptions to the octet rule. The octet rule, octet meaning eight, refers to atoms that are stable with eight electrons in their outer energy level. However, there are atoms which are stable with less than 8 electrons in their outer energy level. For example, hydrogen and helium are both stable with 2 electrons in their outer energy level. Boron is stable with 6 electrons in its outer energy level. Beryllium is stable with 4 electrons in its outer energy level. And finally, there are some atoms in period 3 onwards that can expand their octets, for example sulfur, which is stable with 12 electrons in its outer energy level. 